everybody, Sam Quinton with Sinopa Publishing right here in Frankfort, Kentucky. Uh, it's been a, a busy day, <laughs> to be certain, and we are uh, still experiencing uh, a lot of rain. Not quite the, the beautiful kind of storm that we had last night, but still, it, it's, it's nice. You get the, the gentle sound of the rain drops and the air smells really clean. It, it's nice. Um, that said, a nice hot summer night with the stars bright overhead is going to be a very welcome thing to see soon. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, bear with me for product placement for a moment. Shout out to Dan Donnelly of First American Manga who uh, made this art for me. You the man. And one of our favorite Marines. Go you. Now, the um, topic tonight. Uh, well, a couple of things, actually. Uh, one of the topics we're going to talk about tonight is that uh, today there was a, a big social media post on Twitter slash X and I guess a few other platforms concerning uh, Kickstarter pushing out their late pledges capability globally. Now, <clears throat> a few things about late pledges. Um, it is uh, very new to me. So I'm not going to claim to be an expert on it, but I have uh, been going through the campaigns that I've been prepping for the remainder of this year to look at enabling those capabilities where I think it's a good idea to do so. <coughs> now, that's a lot of vague, so let me be very precise. When I say where I think it's appropriate to do so, where it's a good idea to do so, um, I think that just as with Indiegogo's in demand and the capability for crowdfunder and fund my comic to act as a storefront subsequent to your campaign's termination where you can actually still uh, buy uh, items off of them. There is a need to be mindful of what your inventory is going to look like. There's a need to be mindful about what changes you might see in your shipping capability, your shipping prices and your capability to get your product out effectively. Now certainly the system does have a capability to terminate um, the rewards being available as late pledges built into it. I've already seen that. <coughs> Excuse me. But a few things I want to talk about with that. Uh, late pledges is available so long as your campaign is successfully funded. Now, it, at this time, it does not appear to function for campaigns that have already closed, okay? But if your campaign is currently open and running, uh, the system will let you go into the Edit Campaign page, and I've uh, had this confirmed by people with active campaigns today. Uh, it will let you go in with the uh, Edit Campaign page to enable that, and then go in and either set up... Um, a late pledge tier or enable existing tiers to act as late pledge tiers upon the completion of your campaign. So what this opens up on Kickstarter is a feature that we have seen enabled on the other three platforms I've mentioned before. Indiegogo, Fund My Comic, and Crowdfunder. I've never personally used Zoom or Zoop. Zoop. I don't know if they have that capability or not. Um, I may need to reach out to them and see what they have to say about that. But at this time, that's the information I have that I know. Now, what does this do for creators? Well, after the termination of your campaign, as long as it's successfully funded, it gives you the opportunity to continue your promotions while you work towards fulfillment to try and raise some additional money. And even after fulfillment's done, to continue to you know, offer those products uh, as long as you can responsibly do so. Uh, and by that I mean you have you know, the uh, inventory and your, your shipping prices still make sense, uh, all, all that kind of thing. Uh, and, and particularly for U.S. Uh, creators, our historically speaking over the last few years, our shipping prices have changed frequently, particularly every year as we approach the holiday season. We see a, a spike, and our Postmaster General has gotten postage rates hiked a few other times beside that. So um, just be mindful of those postage and shipping costs, okay? 
the uh, the other thing of course is printing costs for for books uh, printing costs for comics for me over the last two years have gone up about 60 percent uh, for a standard size comic that I was offering uh, in some cases more uh, so just be aware of what your inventory capabilities are now I like the idea of late pledges as a feature and bear with me I'm recording on my my laptop so cameras gonna be all over the place I like the idea of it uh, we've seen over the years certainly it, uh, similar features be put to great use on Indiegogo on fund my comic on crowdfunder it's a good idea uh, it certainly is a case where a multitude of creators have benefited highly from that um, and so I'm all for it. But if you happen to work at Kickstarter, I'm not crazy about the name. Late pledges, whenever I hear the word late, it has kind of a negative connotation to me. I hate being late at all. I just, it absolutely just terrifies me. So maybe consider renaming it something, you know. Um, I don't know what right offhand. There's been a ton of suggestions on X slash Twitter, so... Maybe look into that. Just a suggestion. Now, what do I think some of the other stuff will be coming? Well, I don't know. Uh, there were uh, some comments made in the videos announcing that the late pledges was going global concerning improvements for fulfillment, for getting information from backers, as well as looking at interface improvements uh, for allowing backers to see the status of their uh, their rewards and such. I think that's a really good idea. Uh, being able to do that is, is pretty cool. Um, there are a lot of things that Kickstarter can do uh, to add neat, neat, cool little features. The problem is, since so many people utilize the Kickstarter app for their phones, you can run out of screen real estate very, very quickly. Uh, so maybe have the ability to customize the features the individual user likes. Like maybe something about um, creators that they have supported in the past. You know, um, the ability to put feedback, post comments, you know, add legitimate um, uh, feedback on, on creator profiles. I think would be a good idea. Not everyone's going to agree with me on that one. But I, I think it's important for people to have the ability to know who you are as a creator. Um, this is certainly a really big step for the platform. One thing I haven't found yet is any mention of what that payment period is going to look like. Now, maybe it's in their notes and I just haven't seen it, but I really have not located that. If you uh, happen to know what that's going to be, if you have uh, a source for it, if you work at Kickstarter and can tell us, uh, please do comment below. I'd love to hear that so that uh, people can adequately budget and schedule um, when they're going to be shipping stuff out. Because I think, by and large, unless those payments subsequent to the completion of the campaign are going to be subject to like a, an instant transmission, which... I, I don't think that makes a whole lot of sense, but I mean, unless that's really what's going on, um, you're going to have creators who are going to have to distinguish between people who are accepting, you know, late pledge pledges, and then having to figure out when they got paid, so that they can, you know, have that m money on hand to conduct their shipping. Uh, basically, the the cash flow management is my concern at that point. But like I said, I, I don't have any experience with the feature yet. We'll post an update on the first campaign about the first campaign when we see some some usage for that, or at least that's the plan anyway. Now, um, other things to talk about tonight. I'll try and keep this really quick. Um, the the videos I'm shooting, we're trying to aim at content that's more useful for uh, creators. So we're trying to do things that. Whoops! Didn't turn my phone off. Uh, things that concern crowdfunding, uh, some good ideas for practices that are useful uh, with your crowdfunding, stuff about shipping. Uh, we'll probably get into talking about uh, things with printing, uh, which is um, always fun. Everyone has a lot of opinions about that. 
and try to make things very useful. But we will have um, promotional uh, materials in for Sonopa products, occasionally for other people. Um, I'm very outspoken about people who I have supported in the past who have proven time and again that they're reliable. There is a, uh, a list of creators I try to always, always support because I, I love their work, first and foremost. That's most importantly. They've been reliable with their fulfillment. Very, very, very important. And um, they, they get their stuff done and they're on to the next products and they're making more cool stuff that I'm interested in. You know, people like Madeline Holly Rossing, people like Mike Shea, people like Larry Patrick Higgins, uh, people like Warren Brown. And, of course, people like Max DeVille and Johnny Reed of Atrocity Press. You guys are awesome. Brian Hawkins, the creator of Corn Rose. The list goes on and on and on. Um, Tyler, Tyler Carpenter. You know, and uh, Tyler's, Tyler's produced a lot of different books that I really enjoy. Uh, Chefs, uh, when I was looking at the stuff he was doing as he was preparing that campaign, absolutely loved that idea. And then um, now his Little Witch Academia, that's a lot of fun. His Super Plumber Sisters, I mean... The dude's doing some cool stuff. Um, I'm not going to get into who's better or who's worse. I think they're all freaking brilliant, and that's where we're going to stay on that opinion. But um, beyond that, we will do some um, some promotional stuff uh, here, uh, both on the YouTube channel, on X, on Instagram. And you'll see videos uh, used across multiple platforms at time, so long as it's you know within the system capabilities to do so. Uh, I'm still very new to uh, video content uh, and the other thing too is you'll notice that these are all one takes complete with the ums, the ahs, the pauses, all the irregularities that's because I just don't have the editing experience so bear with me on that and I like to shoot I should have turned that off that should do it hopefully and perfect point I like to uh, do videos like this like they're a conversation like we can just talk even though I'm just staring into the camera um, imagining the people who are actually listening and trying to give you some value for your time that said I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of promo here so if you haven't liked and subscribed already please do so we're gonna do a real quick thing uh, as you guys know I am uh, the creator and publisher of Tibby and our time traveling psychedelic mushrooms and several other uh, cool comics that we've got out, like 47 Furious Tales and Reign of Ages. Uh, and I also published Necroholic for Brian Lee, which is freaking awesome. I love that book. Um, but one of the comics that we've got coming soon to crowdfunding is Tibby and Her Time Traveling Psychedelic Mushrooms, Issue 2. We've already revealed the uh, the cover uh, for that, and I'll go ahead and do up a, um, a, <laughs> a title card for this video uh, for YouTube and um place some other content on there so you guys can see it and then on X and Instagram we've already shared that out so you guys can see that on our accounts um, the cover art by uh, Damien Torres absolutely gorgeous main cover that we're going to be using for our crowdfunding campaign uh, once that uh, book is out to direct market distribution we'll have an entirely separate cover for it so the um, only way to get the uh, cover that we'll be offering here shortly will be through the crowdfunding campaigns and then the few that we print beyond that for convention appearances um, and add-ons on other campaigns, stuff like that. So um, for those of you who don't know, uh, one of the things that I, I do is that I do not reprint covers for floppy comics. So um, for example, for Necroholic, um, we're going to print X amount of books. Uh, with the covers that we have, and once those X amounts of books are done, we'll have uh, another cover done. Same thing for uh, Reign of Ages, same thing for 47 Furious Tales, same thing for Tibby. Now, when you're talking about trade paperbacks, that's a little bit of a different ball game. Um, we'll go ahead and reprint those as, as much as we need, but for the, the collectible market, to help preserve any type of collectible value for our backers, uh, it's the best thing I can do to help encourage that is that whole collectability by scarcity thing. Now, why am I bringing that up? Um, Tibby, in particular, uh, we've got coming up, and that really banger cover that um, uh, Brian, uh, Brian, that Damien has done uh, is going to be made into an 11 by 17 art print, much as we did with the first uh, 
Tibby, and this is a 24 by 36 version. And then we did um, art prints for it, 11 by 17, as well as holochrome art prints. Then we had these printed through Comics Main, uh, Comics uh, Wellspring, rather. Um, I believe they're out of Michigan. I do fantastic work. This one's all bagged and boarded up. But we're going to be doing uh, one for uh, issue two. And we're going to ma make that uh, available here prior to the crowdfunding launch. We're going to use that to raise some awareness about the title. We're going to use that to uh, raise some money to get some work done in advance on the pages. And, you know, generally to help our position going into the crowdfunding campaign. So if you are a fan of uh, our work, if you like the way I write, if you like the way the Tibby story goes, uh, we're going to be ordering uh, uh, an early small little print set next week. That's the week of Memorial Day, this uh, 2024. And um, we'll get those in, and we're going to make those available to folks. So for the next several days, uh, we'll be making people aware of that, and then we will be taking orders for those if people want them. Now, um, that's going to be available at uh, $20 per holochrome which is a, a little bit under what we normally sell them for, uh, but that's because we also have to charge for shipping on these because we're going to ship them out directly. Uh, and so that comes out to a total of about $30 shipped anywhere in the United States total. That's bagged, board, packaged up, shipped to you anywhere in the U.S. or U.S. territories. So if you're in Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Marshall Islands, what have you, um, $30, boom. <coughs> also, if you have a military APO address, same thing. Uh, if you are deployed, if you're uh, on active duty and you're deployed anywhere, um, I'll go ahead and make sure that it's only $30 for you as well if I have to fork up some extra money out of my pocket to make sure that you get your art print. So uh, be mindful of that. The um, international backers, what we'll do is it'll be just the, the $20 for your um, – print and then we'll go ahead and run a calculation for your specific shipping whether in the UK, Brazil, Mexico, Japan, uh, Israel, um, South Korea, J uh, where else do we ship to? Australia. Basically the only places we're not shipping to right now are um, places that are under boycott um, or that we can't normally ship to for our content. So we're not shipping to Russia North Korea, um, I don't believe we can ship to China right now for Tibby. We'll see in the future. Uh, we can't ship to the United Arab Emirates for a different reason. Um, and there's a few active war zones that we can't ship to uh, and guarantee arrival. So um, be mindful of that. All right, so we will have uh, over the next few days, the next coming videos, I may reference a little link uh, below that will be to like a social media PayPal order uh, uh, code that I'll put together that will enable people to order it and then when they come in we'll ship them out and everyone will get their stuff really cool so everyone's aware these will ship just as we discussed in the shipping video earlier we're going to take our two sized cardboards our holochrome art print We'll get that secured in there, taped up, and then sent in our big, oversized 13 by 18 uh, photo mailer. And that will get your uh, your print there to you nice, safe, and secure. Uh, the 18. All right. This was way longer than I planned on it being, so thanks for sticking around with us. If you are still here, please make sure you like and are subscribed, and we'll see you next time.